Arsenal are currently fourth in the Premier League with just eight games remaining as they look to return to the Champions League. Unai Emery's side have beaten Manchester United and runs comfortably in recent weeks, with fans hoping that their good form will continue. The Spanish boss has struggled to find Mesut Ozil's place in the team so far, despite the German remaining the club's highest earner. According to data gathered by Total Sport Tech, the ex-Real Madrid midfielder earns £120,000 more than the next highest earner Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Aubameyang is on £180,000 far less than Ozil's £300,000, but a fair chunk more than his strike partner Alexander Lacazette, £140,000. Stefan Lichtsteiner, who joined on a one-year deal in the summer, has been paid £90,000 a week, but he is highly unlikely to see his deal extended into next season. Seed Kolasinac is on a staggering £119,500, which is almost double Nacho Monreal's £65,000. But where do those two fit into the wage structure at the Emirates? Constantinos Mavropanos £25,000, Alex at Wobi £30,000, Rob Holding £40,000, Matteo Gandazzi £40,000, Mohamed Elmini £55,000, Nacho Monreal £65,000, Danny Welbeck £70,000, Lucas Torreira £75,000, Granit Zaka £90,000, Stefan Lichtsteiner £90,000, Socrates £90,000, Vern Leno £90,000, Kadran Mustafi £90,000, Lauren Koscielny £90,000, Petra Sech £100,000, Hector Beller and £100,000 Aaron Ramsey £110,000 Seed Kolasinac £119,500 Henrik Mkhitaryan £120,000 Alexander Lacazette £140,000 Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang £180,000 Mesut Ozil £300,000